what's up youtubers how you guys doing so yeah i'm doing video today it's uh really uh uh you can see on my uh left side it's uh, uh still bed and uh my table lights okay and my uh water okay water bottle on my left and i'm sitting on a uh, black chair like desk chair or something uh, but and also I'm drinking my tea right here so I'm visiting my friends uh, well, my long friends away from my place so I'm not I'm not home right now so that's why I'm uh, I'm kind of uh, sitting like a, a Zulu Prince uh, I'm sitting like a Zulu Prince Okay, talking about Zulu prints, for those who are actually following the news nowadays, okay, so we have a young man, his name is Lindani Mieni, Lindani Mieni, Lindani in my language actually is somebody who actually, um, uh, to watch like to uh, like uh, like to watch something like to uh to sit somewhere and uh, watch something if something will happen so you are like a watchman no you you una linda kulindani no lindani you know uh, uh, in my language lindani means when he, we, where i'm coming from uh, usually we go uh, at the farm and chasing the baboons or monkeys or yeah, if you are, uh, if you uh, if you you do like um, uh, planting like rice, wherever you go there, you go watch and chase the birds, you not know, to eat your uh, rice or something like that in the farm. So you go there and you linda, uh, you go lindani, you no. Know? So lindani, uh, lots of Zulu words and our uh, our language words uh, sometimes kind of similar. Okay, uh, um, I, I'm, I'm a Bantu, so I'm from the coast in Kenya. So whenever Zulu speaks, some words I can understand uh, uh, words I mean might be meaning different, but similar to it can mean the same word but different uh, different meaning. But to what I understand, Lindani means though the person who actually go and watch. Uh, like a watchman, something like that. Somebody who's go and uh, uh, be alert and you know stay put to watch and what's going on, Lindani. So we have this young man actually went to Hawaii here in America. Hawaii it's a different uh, country, but it's under American colony. Okay, it's a it's a American colony. Okay, um, um, but it's a part of America. In a way, so so this young man from is is a Zulu prince. A Zulu prince married a white woman. Yes, a Zulu prince marrying a white woman. <laughs> it's not a it's not surprising. I don't know why high profile black people marrying a white women. You can say uh, millionaires, black millionaires, millionaires here in America. Uh, lawyers, some lawyers, some mayors, some uh, sportsmen, you know, uh, like footballers, uh, some basket, basketball, basketballs. Uh, they're marrying white women. You know, valuable black people are marrying uh, white women. It's not a surprise at all because our our first prime minister in Kenya, okay, he went to England, and they gave him a white woman has his wife okay and we see lots of lots of uh high profile black people uh, even presidency and whatever african presidents m most of them marrying white women you figure out why we have this another gentleman is a is, is a nigeria tribe is a Ghanaian tribe's prince a Ghanaian tribe tribe prince when he came to america with his wife white woman uh in LA was in LA or Chicago something like that so 
uh, the, the one of the uh, airline uh, supervisor actually uh, arranged the traditional dancing, okay, from this uh, Ghanaian uh, tribal prince come to America with his white woman, you know, so they were dancing at the airport, or welcoming him, blah, blah, blah. But why this high profile black people actually marrying a white woman? I know the answer. The white people are very clever. They give you, if you're so famous, and you are like a president, or you are the son of the president, or you are the family of the president, or you are the, the, the son of prince, or you are the prince, or, uh, African prince, traditional prince, they are going to give you a white woman so that they can dilute the, the chain of uh, genealogy. Okay, They are going to dilute the, the chain of true genetic chain from African uh, traditional, uh, from African uh, uh, genetic or chain, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. So that they are going to dilute that. So now you don't know, you do not have uh, actual uh, natural a black uh, a, a, a black um, a, a geological uh, no no it's not not geological <laughs> uh, uh, how do you call it um, the family chain, okay, the family chain. So you are sperms and you are your seed now is derived to another uh, another race. So you del you do you do you dilute your race. Okay? So after that, once you dilute your face uh, your race, now you have nothing to do but you have no uh, family friends. I don't know, family um, family tribe. No, you have a different uh, race and different tribe. Okay, so after that, then you have the mulatto thing. Okay, so your family is a mulatto family. So they have nothing to, there's no connection, cultural connection or traditional connection or uh, customs connection because now you have a different race. Okay, so to speak of the, uh, the Zulu prince, who actually killed in Hawaii by the American police officer in Hawaii. It's like, let's say this, uh, it's like, let's say, um, uh, let's say the, the William Prince or uh, Prince, uh, Prince William or Prince Harry or Prince Charles or Queen Elizabeth, whatever, visiting South Africa. And South, South African police Kill, kills uh, Prince William or Prince Harry or Prince Charles. Okay? What the world will actually react. So so what is the government of South Africa? So what is the uh, Zulu uh, families? So what is uh, the, uh, the South African people think right now? Is it... Uh, uh, Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, is going to expel American embassies, uh, staff, and everything? Or what are you going to do, you South Africans? So, I'm going to let you know, you guys, you black people, who you black people, the famous people, or married, the white people, whatever, all the wealthy and the fame and everything, you're taking all that to a different culture. You know, you don't want to go to, to your own culture and traditional and customs so so what are you going to do you South Africans what's the reaction these people they don't care whether you are prince whether you are president whether you are who you know so they are killing you and it's the, after they are killing you they say oh police police no they, they identify themselves or themselves after they kill you you know or they say it's not a racial profiling it's a racial profiling. This person was a prince, a traditional Zulu prince, Mesa Lindani Mieni. Yeah? Was a traditional prince. Can you imagine, as I said, if Prince Harry or Prince William or Prince George, whatever, Prince uh, Charles or Queen Elizabeth come to South Africa and black police officer gunned them down, gunned them down or gunned them down? Can you imagine the reaction in the world? 
of the whole African nation, the whole African continent, should be actually protest and react about these killings. So you South Africans, no matter where you go in the white uh, traditional countries, the apartheid is follow you behind. You think that you are a prince and you are married a white woman, you think you are immune with police officers, American police officers. No, you are not immune. No, we saw these uh, presidents, presidents in Africa, they get killed and deposed and you know they're taken away and they put their puppets to run the country in Africa. So this is their traditional. They don't care whether you are prince, whether you are president, whether you are the son of the prince or the son of the uh, president. Or, uh, tradi they don't care as long as they do, they, they fulfill their goal. Okay, so guys, please subscribe, put your comments. But if you are valuable, valuable person, you are the son of the president or the president of Africa or traditional prince or traditional queen in Africa or the queen of Africa or the prince of Africa, there is no need to marry a white woman because the genet genetic genetically doesn't fit. You know, you need to pass that gene gen 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 genetic gen generation down the road, you know, African traditional custom and uh, 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 yeah, and uh, yeah, something like that. So guys, yeah, so the people of South Africa and the entire Africa should be very mad and pissed off with this murders, murdering way, keep going on in America, you know, of a black people, you know, they don't care whether you're a prince or you're the son of the president, you are the president of African, whatever, they don't care. They just gun you down, and then after that they say, police, 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 okay? So, okay, guys, please subscribe, put your comments, and uh, let me know, man, what do you think? Should uh, President Ramaphosa, South Africa, should he close the American embassy? Because this is an international issue right now, you know? This is an international issue, you know? The police officer in America gunned down the Prince Zulu of Africa, Lindani Nyani. Bye-bye, guys, take care.